The opening scene reveals a contemplative young Moira musing over her cautious approach to life, particularly as she nears her 13th birthday in her 10th iteration of life. Her thoughts are heavy with plans involving Xavier and Magneto, aiming for a unified mutant front. As she strolls into a meadow, she encounters Xavier seated on a bench, quickly deducing his presence is linked to the imminent awakening of her mutant abilities. He expresses a desire for a final conversation, ominously brandishing a futuristic pistol. In the current timeline, Moira engages in a conversation with Enigma, questioning if their paths have crossed before. Her inquiry is cut short as Enigma vanishes with the arrival of Omega Sentinel, to whom Moira promises her attention shortly. Enigma, now resorting to leaving letters for Moira, reveals he has not met her previously, unlike Omega Sentinel, whom he admits to bringing into their reality, showcasing his role as the trickster titan responsible for her presence. He proposes an alliance with Moira, promising access to her past life timelines, which he is otherwise barred from. His offer extends to aiding in the ongoing AI rebellion, led by Nimrod, leaving Moira to ponder what benefits she might glean from this partnership. Meanwhile, No Place X faces an onslaught from Sentinel zombies, with Rasputin fiercely combating them. She urgently signals Doug for acceleration as the Sentinels begin infiltrating their defenses, while he struggles with the growth of tendrils necessary for their movement. Amidst this chaos, Rachel underscores the importance of time for all, including Xavier's critical mission with Moira. Mother Righteous suggests an escape route, though Rasputin advises Rachel to disregard her offer, just as a Sentinel's hand breaches No Place X. Moira, still young, confronts Xavier, questioning his drastic actions and whether Krakoa's vision is failing. Xavier reveals his belief in her future betrayal, having been convinced of her duplicity. He acknowledges the weight of his decision to end her life, mourning the loss of potential familial bonds and love he once envisioned possible. Yet he resolves to sacrifice his personal dreams for the greater good, declaring the continuation of the dream and the world without their respective presences. Moira finds herself on the ground, with Xavier standing over her with a gun. As a sentinel nearly captures Doug Sinister, he activates an impenetrable shield around himself. Rasputin intervenes, slicing through the sentinel, allowing Doug Sinister to mobilize NPX. On the verge of inquiring about the shield, Rasputin notices the revealing red diamond on his forehead. Before he can explain, she dashes through the portal Xavier used, determined to derail any plan involving Sinister and to prevent Xavier from executing Moira, leaving Rachel astonished. Moira pleads for an alternative to her execution, but Xavier, deeming it the only solution to a graver problem, takes aim. Rasputin intervenes just in time. She challenges Xavier's reliance on Sinister's strategy. Xavier, insisting on the ownership of the plan and expressing impatience for explanations, deploys small red diamonds that transform into sinister creatures to occupy Rasputin as he pursues Moira. Rachel's telepathic intervention halts his advance, prompting a dialogue about the significance of Krakoa and the impermissibility of its erasure through such actions. After a moment of silence, influenced by Rachel's words, Xavier contemplates the gravity of the plea eventually conceding to seek an alternative path for mutant kind salvation without demolishing Krakoa. He expresses a wish for Moira to eventually prioritize the collective good over personal gain, imparting a telepathic message that remains undisclosed to the audience, ensuring her amnesia regarding the encounter. He acknowledges the forthcoming explanations owed to Rasputin and the regrettable nature of their actions, agreeing on the necessity to conceal their mistake. Together they depart, leaving young Moira to resume her innocent play in the meadow. She consents and creates an entrance for him. Upon asking, now what, she finds herself assimilated into his being. The ensuing artwork vividly captures her integration into the Dominion, her eyes transforming to depict mesmerizing cosmic swirls. Returning to the present as Omega Sentinel draws near, Moira shares optimistic news of the Dominion's outreach and their willingness to aid them. In No Place X, Sinister's frustration mounts over Xavier's failure to eliminate the young Moira. Rasputin declares she's reached her limit. Xavier cautions against rash actions, citing Sinister's importance, to which Rasputin retorts with skepticism about his supposed value to Krakoa. Xavier, conceding, permits her to proceed. Rasputin ends Doug Sinister with her blade, experiencing a conflicting sense of satisfaction. 
Xavier acknowledges the necessity of guilt in some situations. Rachel, indignant, confronts him about his near actions, to which he defends as a last resort, hinting at a far graver and improbable alternative. We then see Charles apologizing to Rachel before he shockingly shoots her in the back, 